Opinions are a huge thing within the Pokemon community, and telling people about your opinions is a dangerous proposition, because if they disagree with you, you better prepare to be absolutely destroyed by everyone who feels differently. However, that's kind of the thing I'm here for as a YouTuber, and today in particular, I'm going to share my most unpopular Pokemon opinions from every generation. This should be pretty interesting, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting with Gen 1, we're kind of beginning with a technicality, because we're talking about a Kanto game, but one that was made during Gen 7. With that said, I would say it's easily my most unpopular Kanto-related opinion, and that is that I absolutely adore Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I think they are super fun games, and what's probably even more unpopular, I really enjoyed the Pokemon Go catching mechanic. I thought it made the actual catching of a Pokemon, especially the legendaries, way more immersive and made catching tough Pokemon like legendaries way more more challenging and rewarding. It's not like I want every Pokemon game to be like this moving forward, because it definitely is a side series type of thing, but for what they are, I absolutely loved the Let's Go games, and hope they make more of them someday. When it comes to Johto and Gen 2, they featured my favorite Pokemon games ever, and they are widely regarded as the best by the community as well, so it was hard to find an opinion of mine here that felt unpopular. However, I do have a bit of a vendetta against one thing in particular, and that is Suicune and Pokemon Crystal. Suicune is my least favorite legendary beast when it seems to be a lot of people's favorite, and a big reason reason for that is because as a kid, I really hated that it was singled out and given its own game while Entei and Raikou were left in the dust. The game itself introduced a lot of great things like Yusin and the Battle Tower, but Suicune being the cover Pokemon, I despised back in the day, and it still kinda irks me when I think about it to be honest. It's the only time one member of a trio was given a game while the others weren't, and it just seems really odd to single one out like that when they're supposed to be perceived as equal. Like, they could have made a game focused more heavily on all of the beasts, and that would have been amazing. It might be an immature opinion overall, cause I literally formed it when I was immature, but it has been in the back of my mind to this day, and so I stand by it even now. For my opinion relating to Hoenn, I wasn't really ever all that interested in the Battle Frontier, and didn't even bother going through it in Pokemon Emerald when I first played through that game. I know it's a beloved feature, but I've never really been a battle facility type of guy, and the main reason why that is, which also applies to the Battle Frontier in particular, is that your Pokemon often don't gain experience, and oftentimes you don't get any reward money either for winning battles in these kinds of places. To me, that just removes all motivation to even battle in the first place, and I didn't even touch the Battle Frontier after I first learned that back in the day. I do appreciate that it was included because it is a solid post-game activity, and I like that it introduced new key characters, which is fun, but yeah, I don't really find the Battle Frontier itself very fun, so I've never related to most people who really enjoy it. Coming to Sinnoh, my opinion here concerns the Pokemon of this region itself. More specifically, I really like Licky Licky, who is often hated, and I've only ever thought Infernape was okay, who is widely beloved. Concerning Licky Licky, I don't really understand why so many people dislike it. It's not like it's ugly, really, it's certainly goofy looking, but is that really such a bad thing? It literally is just an extension of Lickitung, and most people like Lickitung, so I don't really see what the big deal is. Yeah, it's derpy, but derpy Pokemon are awesome, and cool Pokemon by comparison wouldn't really be as cool if they were the only kinds of Pokemon that existed, so Licky Licky is serving a very much needed position in the world of Pokemon, and I appreciate it for it. Meanwhile, Infernape has just never really impressed me that much, to be honest. I remember thinking when I saw Sinnoh's starters for the first time that I did not really like Chimchar that much, and thought it was kind of weird looking for a starter. 
That thought definitely extended into its evolution, Monferno, and while Infernape is definitely the best of the three, in my opinion, I've never really felt like it was so amazing like everyone else seems to feel. I've just always thought that it's just okay, but nothing super special. My Unova take is a fairly big one, because often when you think of black and white, the first thing people think of is how good the story is, and how it's easily the best in the series. Well, while I am not denying that the story is up there, I have never really been blown away by the story like so many others seem to be. It's definitely way more in-depth and intense as far as Pokemon plotlines go, but it didn't really make much of an impact on me or impress me too much when I ran through the games for the first time. With that said, I actually think Sun and Moon story is the best in the series right now, and better than Gen 5's. It was just way more engaging and exciting in my opinion than I felt like Black and White's was, so overall I just never bought into the hype of Black and White's story, although I will say that the games as a whole have been growing on me a ton recently. When it comes to Kalos, this is an opinion that I don't feel like should be unpopular, but it seems like it is because every time Pokemon X and Y comes up in conversation, it seems like people are only ever berating the games and talking about how much they dislike them for one reason or another. While in my opinion, Pokemon X and Y are wonderful games. They're easily in my top three or four favorite Pokemon games ever. Kalos as a region gives Johto a run for its money as my favorite region ever, and Kalos, in my opinion, also has the best Pokemon of any generation. I can understand some gripes people have with the games, but man, they just nailed it in terms of providing that magical kind of Pokemon experience that you look back on and treasure for years to come. The Kalos region has just such a charm about it to me that I'll always remember experiencing for the first time and I absolutely adore, so X and Y will always be up there as one of my favorites for me and will always have a special place in my heart. Alola, meanwhile, kind of did a 180 coming off of Gen 6 because Alola is currently my least favorite region. I don't know how unpopular that is exactly, but I do know some people really enjoyed Alola a lot, which is why I decided to include this opinion here. I'm just not as much of a fan of the more tropical regions because they're just not my style, and the region itself is very linear in structure and is also broken up amongst the four islands, and without the ability to travel between those islands on your own, it severely limits the amount of exploration that can be done which really hurts the enjoyment of it as a setting for a Pokemon game, in my opinion. However, when I say this, I want to be clear that I'm just referring to the region specifically. Tons of things about Sun and Moon are great, like the story, the music, the Pokemon are pretty good, it brought us regional variants, so overall a pretty good generation honestly, but unfortunately one with the worst region in my opinion. And lastly, we come to Galar, the region with a lot of strong opinions to be had, and I am happy to say that Galar is one of my more favorite Pokemon regions, and frankly, I don't remotely care about the dex cut, and I probably wouldn't have even noticed it was a thing if they hadn't said anything about it beforehand. Galar is pretty similar to Kalos in my eyes in terms of its good qualities, just to a lesser degree, so while it's not my favorite region, it's among my more favorite regions ever. Meanwhile, while I know everyone's opinion is different here, I don't need 900 Pokemon in a game to enjoy it personally. I don't really care about transferring Pokemon because I prefer to keep them in their native games, and it's never really been important to me to keep specific Pokemon with me, and I don't necessarily make at a point either to catch every Pokemon in every game. I'm just in it for the adventure, for the experiencing of a new story, for the exploring of a new region, for the catching of new Pokemon, and I got those things in Sword and Shield. I'm not saying the games were perfect, obviously, but I was not remotely irritated by the dex cut like so many others were, and without worrying about that, I was able to really enjoy Sword and Shield as games as well. So those are some of my more unpopular Pokemon opinions. What are some of yours? Let me know in the comments, and let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my opinions in the comments below. 
Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet for more Pokemon content, and support the channel further, which is greatly appreciated, by listening to my Pokemon remixes on Spotify, and by watching my Pokemon Cardinal series here on YouTube. With that said, I will be back soon with another video, and until then, as always, I love you all, and I will smell you guys later.